We got Lizzo with Cardi B rumors. Yeah, this just came out two days ago. I've never heard any songs by Lizzo. I've heard one. Yeah? Mm Mm-hmm. Which one? I don't know the name of it. Let's see what she got. They don't know I do it for the culture, goddamn. They say I should watch the shit I post, oh goddamn. Say I'm turning big girls in the holes, oh goddamn. They say I get groupies at my shows, oh goddamn. All the rumors are true, yeah. What you heard, that's true, yeah. I fuck him and you, yeah. If you believe I do that, had to cut some. Oh, she reminds me of the character from um Hercules. You know when the women are singing? She reminds me of one of the women. Oh, yeah. You're talking about Hercules, the, um, the, the cartoon. Animation. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Where I think they're like plopped up on the wall, kind of like that. And then they become real. I wonder if she's reenacting um, those women. Yeah. All the rumors are true, yeah. What you heard, that's true, yeah. I fuck him and you, yeah. If you believe I do that. Had to cut some hoes loose, yeah. Indy ain't no loose lips. Now them hoes trying to sue me. Bitch, I don't give two shits. All the rumors are true, yeah. I've been in the bamboo, yeah. Focused on this music. My ex nigga, he blew it. <laughs> Last year, I thought I would lose it. Read shit on the internet. My smoothie cleanser, my diet. No, I ain't fuck Drake yet. <laughs> Spending all your time trying to break a woman down. Real shit is gone. message a lot you know like in the beginning she talks about how everyone or her haters are so focused on her and don't realize that there's bigger problems out there in the world and it's so true like sometimes we forget that you know the bigger picture of all the things that we focus on is that there's real problems that we need to focus our energy on as opposed to just rumors or you know gossip or celebrity related stuff yeah um i admire her confidence i didn't like the song but i admire the confidence she has like in this music video um you know she's not someone that's 
usually depicted in, in videos like this because usually you see music videos and I think what we portray in these music videos is an image of what females should look like or what their shape should be so I definitely admire her confidence in coming out and accepting herself and her not not really caring what other people think so I admire that um the music video itself I it just doesn't resonate with me so for me like it's it's kind of a no-go I thought it was interesting that with the message and her being comfortable with her own skin and how she's portrayed as a goddess they're both they both are and so it's it's symbolic because these are goddesses that you know one is pregnant and the other one you know isn't small right. and so it's it's symbolic because they're showing that this is what a goddess can look like you know what i mean right right 100%. and for and for anyone that you know is growing up or has issues with their body i think it's important to realize that like celebrities don't all look a certain way and they don't have to right and i like like you said like her confidence this is gonna build a lot of people who have low self-esteem and make them realize that it's okay right right and i think that's why a lot of people gravitate towards Billie because she has um, a very similar message in that sense yeah. of acceptance, accepting yourself and not caring about the social norms or trying to fit in that box. Um, but yeah, no, that's a great point because when you think of goddess and goddesses, like they're portrayed a certain way. You look, you look at like, especially the male figures, like they're all very muscular, they're solid, they make especially the Greek gods, they make them look very aesthetically pleasing, right? Like you, you you don't see any like Greek god like out of shape, right? Like they're all like... But if you think about it, actually the women are portrayed as curvy. Them too, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, both figures, male and female, I was just talking in particular with the, the male gods because that's what I'm accustomed to watching when I see like the cartoons and stuff. They're usually male dominant. They have like um aphrodite's i think she's the god of love and she's very curvy as you said like she's very voluptuous voluptuous and like busty right like remember <laughs> when, we, when we seen um what was that uh ragnarok yes right with it's a it's a mix of mythology yes, but there's yes, a lot yes. of like it's it's all gods there right and all the gods especially like the females are very um yeah they're portrayed in a certain way so it's the same thing with the male gods. They're all like very muscular. Like they try to uh, portray them as like handsome, masculine. So there's definitely, there's definitely a theme there. But with her, she, she's portraying a god that can just be normal, be average, just look like anyone you'd see on the street. It, right. You don't have to look a certain way. So yeah, definitely like the message again. But um, yeah, the song just doesn't resonate with me. So it's not a song that I'd probably listen to regularly or after this. <laughs> and I think who else better than Cardi B to be featured on a song about rumors because she's definitely one of the more popular celebrities that probably get a lot of you know trash talk yeah and so I think it's fitting yeah I mean, I would also argue that she kind of puts herself in that situation sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Because she's very... Um, she's outspoken, for sure. Very outspoken. Very aggressive, in some sense, in some ways. 